Hi there and welcome back to Titan Quest. Eudorus is in the first domain. Uh, let's see what we have here. What's that? Oh, can't get to me like that. And you happen to be an Archlimus. Frostwall. Whatever. Ah, there are flame wardens too. Um, they're not really dangerous. Good riddance. Oh no, you're not dead yet. No, no, you are. I I really like <laughs> the level design, but I'm very glad that you can't fall off the edge. Excuse me. Bust load my ass. Looks like everybody's dead. Uh, uh, we could go down here. What's up here though? Nothing. Stairs down. Uh, probably to the zero domain or I don't know. This is probably where the big bad mofo is. Hi. You want some? Come and get some. What do we have here? Nothing. Just the light source. So this is a way down and this is a way up. Wow, excuse me? Oh, not that scared actually. It's, it's just a lot of weak monsters. Yeah, uh, what you gonna do about it? <laughs> I'm here and you're there. Maybe I can harass you a little. Uh, yes, I can. Uh, well, yeah, now I hit you. Yeah, what you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing. Now this is boring. <laughs> Greetings. Wow. And boom, baby. Getting a lot of demon's blood here. Yeah, they're donating quite willingly. You know, I always try to charge up my onslaught before I use the shield charge, because I hope it does more damage that way. Well, that actually works like that. Where is it? 150 to 205 damage. Hmm. Probably, I don't know. Hard to say. Doesn't look like it's dependent on your base damage. was here. Hello my friends. You know what? Boom. Everybody dead? Yes. I 
So yeah, without the archers, it's a piece of cake. Walk in the park. Oh yeah, talking about damn archers. It was so nice, I should have kept my big mouth shut. Fuck. Scout, God. It's safe in here. Come. I found the key and unlocked this door. I have been all over these plains and have seen many things. I have seen Cerberus turn from his true purpose. So beware. He stalks these halls. Oh, Cerberus. That's not good news, right? Find a way to Elysium and seek the judges in the Tower of Judgment. Um, okay. Let's merge them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Anything good? Not really. Cerberus, eh? I don't know. Is he tough? I fucking hate you. Careful, Master Archer. Come closer, my friend. Let's draw some, draw some aggro. Um, so, he wanted some, is that right? Ah, that is stupid, doesn't work. Close the distance, that works. Good riddance. Yeah, well, where do you want me to go? Oh, you. Here is nothing. Forget it. No. Wrong button. Do 
actually wanted to use a potion but switched the weapon instead. And victory. What a weird way to fight if you're a conqueror. Stay. Hodges. Are we done? Yep, looks like it. What is that? Okay, how about we heal up? Come on, recharge. Where well, there's a gate. Chances are Cerberus is on the other side of it. Is he tough? I don't know. Probably. Let's try and find out. I don't care about you, your funny tricks. Oh well, he was not so tough. What was that? Defeat Cerberus. Yeah, okay, we did that. What else? Before their chamber, the deadly Cerberus kept watch, but was he the guard or the jailer? Oh, don't tell me we have to fight another one. It's a 1-2 hit. Ah. That would be unfortunate. So I say we um, teleport home and sell stuff. Is there something here? I don't really know. The Plains of Judgment, I think, was where we last saw our caravan. Yes, exactly. I don't do business with those demons. I'll tell you that much. I don't care who you do business with. I told you already. Um, Blade of Thanathos. I thought we had that somewhere here. I'm running out of space. And what is that? Cunning of Eudesis. We don't have that? can't see it. That probably means we don't have it. Goodbye, living traveler. Goodbye, dead caravan owner. And now a mortal, is that it? First these demons, strange news, now the living come traipsing through our land. Quit complaining. Don't need it. Don't need it. Twenty five percent code resistance. Mm, yeah. Plus ten percent movement.
You don't happen to have anything nice, right? What about this one here? Oh, actually, it's shitty. You don't have anything that is useful. How unfortunate. Goodbye. Immortal. I can smell your blood. I remember life. Yes, it was long ago. That's a weird fellow. Smelling my blood? You gotta be kidding me. Keep your fangs to yourself. Or I'll defang you. Well, he hasn't, doesn't have anything at all. Hmm. I once stood upon a mountain. But then nothing happened. Okay, so the Colossus has almost recharged. Hall of Judgment. Greetings, mortal hero. Greetings, great warrior. Greetings, slayer of titans. Ah. Okay. Let's talk to them. Thank you for freeing us, hero of Greece. When the rest of the Olympians left, Hades heard the call but would not follow. He condemned us to this prison, but we were the lucky ones. The heroes of Elysium are at this moment fighting his army. They have no hope of victory, but they fight on. They await you. For the blind seer prophesied that a living hero would save us all. I judge you worthy, for you seek to save what is good. Go to Elysium, and help them, and to Agamemnon, who leads them. The path is now open. Ah, Agamemnon, I like him. What do we get? Book of Dreams, another one, we already had two of them. You know, that's the, the brother of uh, Menelaus, the husband of Helena of Sparta. Well, if you watched uh, Troy the movie, actually was a bad guy there in, in the true mythology. He wasn't, well, if mythology can be true, that is. He was actually not a bad guy. Hades sought our help to take the world of men. He offered us command of his armies and our own kingdoms when the conquest was complete. We were men once and would not betray the future of man. When we refused him, he found new generals and he imprisoned us here. It is not often we judge the living. I judge you worthy, for you champion those unable to fight. Go to Elysium. And actually it's also wrong how they, well, you know, the movie, movie Troy is only based loosely on the Elias. And in the movie Agamemnon actually conquered many kingdoms, uh, kingdoms and that's how he forged the Greek alliance against Troy. And that's not actually how it worked in, in the Greek mythology. It was actually it worked quite the other way around because, you know, Helena was known, Helen was known to be the most beautiful woman on earth during that time. And uh, she was thought to uh, quite an insignificant king and all of, you know, the kings of Greece that were not already wet uh, wanted to marry her and they all came to uh, uh, her father's kingdom and well they caught her and actually there were many powerful kings there and um, 
Helena's father was worried that if she would choose one of them, the others would be pissed and go to war above the, uh, over that decision. And so it came to be that actually Odysseus came up with, the illusion, uh, with a solution because he was actually quite an intelligent one. And he made all uh, the suitors of Helena uh, swear an oath that whoever she might choose would never take up arms against her future husband and if something bad would happen happen to the couple to the future couple then they would bring the armies um, and help them and so well then there was the story with Paris of Troy and there was this golden apple that the goddess of you know um, I don't know how you call it Eris the goddess of argument and stuff well she liked uh, you know uh, to uh, enrage people and make them fight each other and she threw an, a golden apple um, next to uh, I think it was uh, Athena, it was Hera and Aphrodite and on the golden apple there was an inscription to the most beautiful of them all and the three goddesses Athena, Hera and Aphrodite well then argued who the apple belonged to and since Paris um, was you know known to have a thing for women he was a great lover and well many women fell for him uh, the three goddesses went to him to decide who the apple should belong to and to decide uh, who was the most beautiful of them all and like it was back in the day they always they all three wanted to bribe him I think Hera I don't know they probably promised him honor or something uh, Athena promised him victory and battle and Aphrodite uh, promised Paris the love of the most beautiful woman on earth that happens to be Helena of Sparta. Well, it wasn't Sparta back then. But still, well, uh, Paris chose Aphrodite and gave the apple to her. And therefore, when her Paris met Helena, that was the most beautiful woman on earth at that time, then Aphrodite made it so that they fell in love with each other. And um, Helena was already married to Menelaus of Sparta at that time. And all the other Greek kings had sworn their oath to Menelaus that they would help him if something bad would happen. And then Paris went away and took Helena with him and well Menelaus actually went to the other Greek kings and said well now's the time to fulfill your oath. And they were honor bound to do it and that's actually how the Greek army was assembled and moved uh, towards Troy. So yeah it's not like Agamemnon was a bad guy and tried to conquer all Greece or anything. Okay let's talk to the third judge. Bent on taking what he desires by force. The god Hades has made an army of his servants. The palace of Hades churns out daemon warriors. Strong magics issue from that place and guide them, restrain them. The lord of the underworld corrupts his own home in order to satisfy his greed. I judge you worthy, for you think not of yourself. Enter the Golden Fields. Awesome. We enter the Golden Fields of Elysium, probably through that portal. Yeah. Elysium. Oh, nice. The battle for Elysium. The three judges spoke of Hades' plan to conquer the realms of the living by force. The heroes of Elysium even now fight upon their hallowed fields to block the Dark God's progress. Minos has opened the gate to Elysium and instructed you to seek their commander, King Agamemnon. What about our side quests? Okay, we have to look for Admetus in Elysium too, and we still need, well, to get to Hades' treasury. Who are you? Oh, Tiresias again. Titan's bane, you have come. What I have foreseen has come to pass. My destiny is nearly fulfilled. I have one more prophecy to speak. Make of it what you will. Only living blood can crack the gate. Only living flesh can unmake the makers. Only living hands can free the breath of spring. Only living spirit can banish death. I have seen. Now make my visions true. I'll do my best. Wow, this is so bright. After all that... Um, a darkness in the last levels... Aetolian Polis. What do we have here? The odds against us are great, but remember, 
These heroes fighting are the greatest who ever dwelt upon the earth. I know. As a spider attends to her weave, so do I weave delicate symmetries in all I have to sell. Well, 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 you don't have anything useful, do you? No. May your flame burn bright. Once in Parthia, my ox died. Hold the cart by set. Come back any time. What? I once ported 50 chests of temple gold to Ionia. Myself? Yeah. I mm. bravely. Life. Heroism does not end with life. Look at the fields before you. Great deeds as ever there were. Well, 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 you probably have nothing either. So long. So short. It was ten full years we had waged our war on Troy. We Greeks out upon the beaches, and King Priam's people behind their mighty walls. Walls built, mind you, by Poseidon and Apollo, gods. We would never knock those down. So Odysseus says he knows what to do, and we all start to wonder. How does he think he can get past those walls? Well, at his orders, some men went off to do some woodwork, and all the troops were called back. As if we were fleeing cowards, we sat in our tents that day. No fighting. All that woodwork, what do you think they made? A gleaming horse. Five men, ten men tall. And it rolled on wheels. Here is how it went, I will tell you. Rosy-fingered dawn touches the Trojan walls and finds the horse sitting there, a gift. A gift? Are they giving up? The Trojans wonder. After all this time, is this cursed war done with? In goes the horse. And what they do not know is that every king and mighty warrior, Odysseus too, is lying in the belly of that wooden beast. They bide their time until night falls, and then they climb out. They slay the guards, they throw open the gates. The Trojan city Ilium is burned. The war is won. Yeah. By treachery. So it was long ago when I lived in Boeotia, at the foot of Mount Helicon, as I tended my sheep, that the Nine, the Muses, who dwell upon that sacred peak, looked down and blessed my brow with the gift of verse. Yeah, thanks for telling me that. Roads not taken may now be followed. Not interested. May destiny teach you greatness. Elysium is sweet, but life was sweeter still. So, where's Agamemnon, I ask you? Well, this looks like Athena. Well, why is she not having an owl on her hand? This surely is Athena, with the shield and stuff. But she should have an owl. It's not an owl you have here. What do you have here? Ah, Agamemnon. King of Mekine. Ah, you've come to join the battle. Alas, it cannot be won here. You must stop Hades himself. The old prophet prattles on about a living hero entering Hades' palace. We cannot enter that place, so we fight and we are destroyed. Yesterday we lost Pentheus and Lycurgus, and today, my old rival Priam. Brave souls destroyed forever by Hades' ambition. He was lord of this world, now he's just another tyrant. A tyrant you must overthrow. Beyond the front, Odysseus has penetrated the fiend's lines. As ever, he and his men use guile where brute force cannot triumph. Find him, and he will help you enter the city. His plots have breached impenetrable walls before. Go quickly. The hopes of all men, living and dead, go with you. Awesome. So we have another portal. Put down in Elysium. Wow. We have traveled quite the way, I tell you. Quite the way. And here we have another river fountain. Meet. Odysseus before Hades' palace. And there's one more thing to do. 
Probably a Hades Palace here. So how about we call it a video and continue on the next one. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye. Hold on for a second. There is something or someone I actually overlooked. Here, Admetus. We should talk to him. It is good to see your face. So we meet again. In the happiest of places. And in the bitterest of times. And now that side quest is finished. Very well. The only thing that is left is Hades treasury. Yes, I have earned my place here. Selflessly and bravely, I aided my fellow Shades. I freed them from cages. I led them into the tower. Yeah, good for you. Okay, we should have done that. Um, as soon as we arrived here. And now we can finish uh, this video. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.